Okay, so I know I have a mess going on, but we have these three parts that I've already made. That part, this part, and then I just trimmed this one up a little bit, and I have this part. Now, some of you on my Facebook page, when I showed you the tester, said you didn't like it. Well, don't put it on. You don't need to, but I'm going for the inspiration photo that I saw that I posted on Facebook. Um, so this is a piece plain. Now, I want to show you what I'm thinking. So a while back, instead of buying these little Druzy stones, I kind of made them out of different glitters. And I'm going to attempt to do a gold dish one and see how it looks. Now these I put on a piece of plastic, just a piece of like acrylic, and used triple thick glue, which gave it this domed appearance. With these, what I'm going to try first <clears throat> is putting it on with, I'm going to use bacon bond because it's thicker and not as runny as liquid clay. So I'm going to try it with bacon bond and see if I can get this to work. If not, I might bake a piece. I haven't used triple thick. I'd have to do some research to see if I can use triple thick on this. Um, that's a type of glue. So I don't know. We'll try bacon bond and see. And I might have to do it in a couple of layers as well to see if I can get it to stick. I could also attempt to spread a thin layer of resin and stick it to resin and keep building it up with resin. I don't know. There's a couple ways I can go about doing this. So I'm going to try them all on camera. Oh, I've also been making some little pieces for my nieces. So I made this one. It's got one coat of resin on it. It needs another coat with some faux abalone. And here's another one. It needs resin. That one's not resin yet at all. Okay, so I ordered, and I'll put these on my Amazon, Ice Red Resin Antique Gold was the only really gold color I could find. These are like glass shards. Um, I also ordered a set of, again, I'll put this on, um, Wow Glitter. Okay, I think I'm going to just try this gold, this gold one. And then I might also use my Diamond Dust because it's clear and um, I like the way it shines. Like the big shine you're getting on these pieces are, is from that. So... I don't know, I might use all of it, a little bit of all of it. So the first thing I'm going to do is probably put a thin coat on. It's so hard because I don't know how clear the bacon bond is going to get on its own. Whereas like liquid clay might get clearer. So I don't know, I'm going to have to play with this a little bit. But either way, the application will probably be the same. So let's do it. So I'm going to put on a thin layer. I don't want too much, that's my problem. Let me put it on a tile tile as well. Oops, dropping my tile. Let me put up my tile as well and that way I don't have to move it around and pick it up. <laughs> and I can just go put it right in the oven. I'm going to put a little layer of bacon bond on. But enough to get it to kind of sit on here. <clears throat> Maybe I'll just spread it around with one of my silicone brushes. I'm not putting it as thin as I would normally put bacon bond. And one of my dogs is chewing a bone. I know you guys hear that. People ask, what is that noise in the background? I need some more. That bottle is getting kind of empty, so I'm leaving it on its side. I mean, it's still got a lot in it, but... Okay, and then what am I going to start? Maybe I'll start with a thin. See, it's hard because if I put it on here, then I'm going to have to lift it up no matter what. You know what I mean? Maybe I'll do that. I have this scrap of the paper towel down just because I don't have any free paper right around me. Let me sprinkle on some of this little glitter. I don't think, when I posted this sample piece on Facebook, I don't think people could tell it was gold. I think they thought it was yellow, which it definitely is not yellow. I mean, 
This is not just yellow, obviously, up close. It's like a shimmery gold, but I don't think they could tell that. I absolutely hate glitter. And I'm probably going to have to do a couple of coats of this. I really probably am. And because I just touched that. And I hope I can resin this after as well. That would be my goal as well, to be able to resin this. It's a little uneven height-wise. I'm okay with that. Uh, where did I just set my... Oh, right there. I guess whatever gets on my tile, I'm probably just going to leave on my tile till after it's baked. Okay, and then my goal would be to put down some more, and hopefully, maybe this time I'll use Kato, because I know the Kato dries really clear. I don't want to poof any air at it, so. Put down a little Kato on top of that, just kind of more in the middle. Because I don't want this to run off, and I've had problems with liquid clay running off in the past. The Kato for some reason, so I don't know. I also have these wax pencils that work really well to pick up, like, glitter and stuff, so. Or gems. You could also just dump it on there and tilt off whatever sticks, but... I do want them to lay flax. I want to resin them. So I'll probably do multiple layers of this. Like do a portion, bake it. Do a portion, bake it. Because I want to be able to get control it a little bit more. So some of these are more clear than others for sure. This stuff, this stuff didn't have the greatest reviews. But that's the best I could find. So some of them looks like it's almost like silver shards tinted with gold. So I'm just going to lay a bunch of pieces on here. I don't know how well you can see this. Let me zoom in a little bit. See, I'm just laying some of these pieces on. So yeah, some definitely look... You see that? So they're not the greatest looking, but I think if I can resin them, they'll stay fine. But I think on their own, I think some of this gold would peel off. These are glass, so these should bake well. As long as it's touching some of it.
Oh, that's underneath the seal. That's weird. Always feel free to fast forward, but I'm just adding little pieces on here until I'm happy. Trying to find the most gold looking ones. I'm really allowed to see how this bakes. And I also have some of these. But I don't know if I want the regular shape of the octagon type thing, which is what this mainly is. A couple might be okay. Just get a different tone in there. Sorry. So, I mean, probably the more gold you have, the more cool it would look. I just don't tend to wear a lot of gold, so I don't really have a lot of gold glitter. I tend to draw my eye draws towards silver more. So I have more like silver stuff. I don't know if I'm going to need the clear ones because this one has kind of a, these clear ones in it. You can see one right there, you know, so I, don't, I might not need, but my other ones are really shiny, so I might add them actually. I'm just kind of patting them all in, keeping it away from the edge. And whatever doesn't stick later, we can deal with that later. We can shake it off and <clears throat> add more and rebake it. These are smaller shards, these twinklets, but they're definitely glass, like you can feel them, they definitely feel different. I'm just trying to pat it flat so nothing's really sticking up and out. I 
Now, I don't believe that will stick anywhere everywhere, but I don't also want to pick it up. kind of cool, huh? Yeah, the twinklets give it a lot more shine. They really do. I think that's how I'm going to leave it for now. I'm going to bake it and then probably do another layer, but I'll show you what it looks like when it's done baking and I'll show you how it bakes up. So that would be my first coat of different glitters and stuff. Um, I may also cut another piece out and bake it at the same time because then I have another tester piece to drill out. So I may also cut one out to get ready. But I don't know, that's come as long as it bakes okay, I think it will be fine. So let me just bake it. Let me bake it. I'm gonna bake it at Kato's temperature, which is 300 to 350. So probably um I don't know if I want to go all the way up to 300, maybe like 280. 285 and I'll just do a half hour just to see how it looks. I kind of think it looks cool already. Different, right? And then I'll be able to kind of lightly brush it off or something with a paintbrush and whatever doesn't stick I don't want on there. And then maybe I'll add another layer of different. I also have this tone, but this one's more coppery, which may actually look good. Compared to the regular gold, I might add that one too. I think the more you have, the, the more texture it would have. The diff, It would look different for sure. Okay, so it just came out of the oven. It's like everything's really still super hot. I got it off my tile, but... Tile. Now I'm just going to lightly take a brush and see what I can get off of this. Because I want everything fully stuck. Pretty stuck. Yeah. Now it definitely is more domed in the center. So what I might do is put more on the edges. A few more. I think it looks pretty good actually. But I might put a few more on it. Just to kind of get exactly where I want it, you know. And I guess, really, you could just play with this as much as you want. I do like the way it looks right now. I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. Now this tile is really hot, so I, don't, I hope it doesn't set my baking bond. Hot tile. I think I'm going to put a couple more of these clear ones on because they get a really nice shimmer. But again, you want to definitely pat down your edges and make sure nothing's hanging off the edges. And I probably could trim them later. I 
I know you guys can't see much until I move it, but I can see it. bacon bun actually may be setting because I literally took this out of the oven and then walked downstairs took it off my tile for like a half a second or I shouldn't say bacon bun it was liquid clay Remember, it will go clear as well once it's baked. Maybe I should dust on some of that other color. I like that these have um, sprinkle tops, but it's a pain to get this little thing out without getting glitter all over yourself. glitter for this reason. Not that I like the way glitter looks, I just hate the way it sticks to everything. It's kind of a little too much. But again, if it's on top of the other glitter, it shouldn't stick to it. There. Okay. I'm going to leave that. Well, let me see if I can pick it up and tap it off. And then I'll bake this one more time for probably just another half hour or so. Oops, sorry guys. I covered up those flat ones a little too much. But that's a little shallow there. 
Still shower there. Any little indents I'm putting stuff in it. I kind of like how these are very irregular shaped. Get off. It's like stuck to my thing. A couple different tones in here. I think I'll bake this off. I don't know if I like that one actually. It's too round. <laughs> okay, so I'll bake that off. And then what I'll do is I'll put a really, really thin coat of resin on it. So it doesn't run everywhere. Just like I did with like the faux abalone and stuff. Put a really thin coat of resin on it. And then probably another thin coat and another thin coat. Because it's domed, if I put a thick coat on, it'll just fall right off. Or run right off of it. So I'll probably just... Yeah. I like it. Pretty happy with it. And I think it'll be more glitzy than the other one. And I'll see if I, I like it together. But again, you don't need to do it on your piece. So let me um, bake it. I will resin it. And then we'll put all three pieces together. Okay, guys. So all of my parts are done. I'm going to move these out of the way. These are my little niece ones. I think are cute. Okay. So anyways... We have all our parts done. Now the goal is to put them together. So let me show you how this... I did um, two coats of resin on this. And I think it looks cool. The hard part is, is going to be drilling the hole through it. Because if I was smart, I wouldn't put any of the flat pieces where I'm going to drill the hole. So that's going to be a challenge. So I've, as I've showed you many times, I use my pin drill. Again, the base spins so you can put it in your hands and then just twist your fingers and you don't have to twist your whole wrist. I always start with the smallest bit first because I don't want to risk cracking my pendant. Um, if I was just doing three of these separate, I would do all with this small one and then I would move up the next size, drill them all. Move up the next size, drill them all. But because all of these have to fit together, I'm going to drill each separately. So the first one, I'm going to find where I think the center is. And again, I can still sand off the back. I haven't done that yet. Totally can, but I haven't. And you know, a good way if you're questioning where your center is, if there's like a pattern that's throwing you off, because this line is not in the center and it's kind of making me... You could put a little dot with a permanent marker. Let's see. And then kind of move 
move it around and take a peek at it. There's a little piece of resin right there that's bugging me. Because I resin the sides, i got to buff that off. It's on the back side. So I think I'll do that. So I usually put it flat like this. And then I also put a little mark in the clay so then I can look at it again. That's probably okay. And then just start drilling. This is a pretty thin layer of resin and a pretty thin layer of clay, so it should go through fairly easy. Now on this one, I am going to go up through all the sizes on all of these each time because I need to be able to see how they're going to work together. This one's really easy to change the sizes. I've seen others where you have to like take this sheath off and then put the drill bit in because it's got like this plastic holder part and then put the sheath back on. Those just take long. This one's actually fairly easy to I feel like I'm missing a size. Because this jumps up pretty far. I feel like I didn't get one of my sizes out. Look how easy, once you get your first hole in, your first hole goes in fairly easy too. And I'm going to end up doing a fairly large hole. One, because I want them all to swing pretty independently of each other. So the looser the hole is on the jump ring, the more play they'll be able to have. size these two are about the same exact size so now we have a nice clean hole okay so that pendant is drilled now this one I kind of want it more over here. So with this one, what I'm going to do, let me put my smallest bit in first. And I'm going to kind of get it where I want it on the edge of the table so I can grab it whole. And then I'm going to take my little one and kind of make a mark through that hole on the back side of this one. Okay, let's hope that's right. And then there's, I marked it, and then we'll drill through that. This one has no resin on, so this one's going to go through easy. I just don't want to punch through to my finger really hard. Okay. And then again, I'll work up through the sizes. I know some of you don't want to watch this. Go ahead and fast forward. You can always, if you're using a touch screen, double tap the left side of your, or the right side of your screen twice. It will jump you 10 seconds. If you hit the three dots in the upper right hand corner, you can hit playback speed and speed me up however fast you want. Or you can just drag the thing at the bottom and speed the whole video, skip the whole. I mean, always feel free to do that. No one's making you watch. And your clay with no resin should be fairly pliable. That's when you know it is baked properly. If it's stiff and you go to bend it and it splinters, you didn't bake it right. You're... Your oven wasn't reading the right temperature or you didn't bake it long enough. You'd rather have it bendy than brittle and easy to crack. God, I hope all these pieces fall right. What I might do is just get a jump ring out just to look at these two. So let me, sorry about the camera. Let me grab it. Oh, God, I bumped it again. 
just a jump ring out for now just so I can try and see these two pieces before I add the third one. When you open a jump ring, you always twist front to back like that. You don't pull them apart. Okay, those are okay. That's how they're falling. Yep. Okay, so now for the third and final one. Which is going to be the hardest one, I think, to drill because it's, if you can see, I made it pretty thick with the resin. Plus the layers of glitter on it. Thanksgiving tomorrow. I hope you guys have a nice Thanksgiving, even though I won't be posting this until after Thanksgiving. Okay, so those two holes are lined up. Now I need to decide. I think I'm going to drill this top. Something like that. And again, some of you don't like this. That's that's totally fine. Use your own creativity and artistic ability to determine what you want for your piece. This is just kind of inspiration mainly. Whenever I do anything, it's never to be like, oh, you have to do it like this. You have to do it. You never, ever, ever am I telling you you have to do anything. The hard thing is, is just getting this to where... I need it to be and knowing where I need it to be. I don't want to drill so so on the end, so I'm going to put it up a little bit higher. I'm just doing the same thing. I'm just pushing it through the hole to kind of get myself a mark. And then I can look at it and go, okay, is that in the center is that fairly good that does look fairly good but let's see if I'm gonna be able to get through these glass shards that's my question Could probably put it up a little bit higher than that I'm starting from the back that way if I can't get through a glass shard I can always move Trying to see if I can see it from the front, so hang on, I'm off camera. Because a lot of times when you're drilling through, you can see it coming through the resin. I feel like I'm not moving at all. Oh, there it goes a little bit. Can't see it yet. Might be stuck on a piece of that glass glitter. Here we go. I can feel that I'm going through some kind of glitter right now. Can you hear it? Did you hear it crunching? So it is working through the glitter. Okay, I can see it on the front now. So now I'm going to put it up to my face again. I'm sorry I'm off camera, but I need to be able to see it myself. So I can see where it's on the underside of the resin right now. There's a little bit of white right there. So now I'm just taking my bit and kind of making a tick mark. So when I lay it on my table, that's where I'll fall into, hopefully. And now I'm going to come from this other direction. Hopefully meet the two holes up. Yep, I am going through some glitter, definitely. Now, I use a different resin than I normally use. I use the Lisa Pavelka one. I don't, I have a bottle of it, but I haven't played with it much, so I wanted to play with it some. It actually wasn't bad. My basement's pretty cold, so everything right now is pretty uh, thick, which is actually super handy. 
making your UV resin thicker. It's cold out. It makes it definitely a lot thicker. So I'm liking that. Things don't run as much. God, I hope this falls okay. Now I, I can tell my hole is a little more to this side. So I'm going to, when I put my bit in, I'm going to push more to that side with the grit. So I'm going to get it in there and then I'm going to start like widening it out and pushing towards this hand. hope this resin isn't cracking. Like I said, I don't use this resin that often, so it does give a little white, more of a white appearance. I don't know if you can see that. More of a white appearance in the resin than other resins that I've used where you drill it and you, it doesn't really have that. It doesn't really do that. But it's still holding strong, so it's a lot of glitter that could crack the resin because you have clay, then you have glitter, and then you have resin. The glitter could pop off the clay and separate. It totally could. Okay. Moment of truth. Ready? Ooh, I'm nervous. I might need a wider jump ring to fit th three pieces on here, but we'll see. Because this is a seven millimeter. I think I have eight millimeter jump rings too. If this won't hang correctly. And I also have 10, which are really big, but I could. Yeah, see the circle part's not big enough. They're not all going to fit on here and hang flat. Okay, so seven millimeter doesn't work. That's why the other pieces I made fairly thin because I knew this last piece would be pretty bulky. Okay, let me see. Seven millimeter, or 10 millimeter, I think I have eight. Yeah, I have eight millimeters. Let me try an eight before I go all the way up to a 10. Obviously, I'm gonna have to get all my fingerprints off of this. Ooh, I think I need a 10. Do you see how they're flaying out? It's because that loop is not big enough for them. So I think I might need to go to a 10. Yeah, let's just do it. Okay, the biggest jump rings I have. Where are you? 10 millimeters, these ones. These are also bigger and gauged. They're wider here, so I don't know if I have to drill bigger holes. The gauge is like how thick the wire is. And these 10 millimeters have pretty... The wire is pretty thick. Those two are hanging fine together. Let's see. I'm just stretching things out a little bit. I might need to go up one more size in my hole because they're a little tight. So I'm going to get one more drill bit that's a little bit bigger. Is that one bigger? Yeah, that one's bigger. I'm going to go up in size because I'd rather have them have a bigger hole and room to move. I'm going to go really slow, though. I'm 
want them to be able to swing on that jump ring. the hole is too small it's going to be restricting and because that wire is so thick which is fine because it's sturdier so some of my jump rings have a little skinny wire so the gauge is how thick the wire is so can you see if I can get it to focus how this wire is thinner than this wire so it's a bigger hole, even though the, and then the 10 millimeter is the diameter around. So this one is a seven. This one is a 10. Okay. So now let me put them all on here. So there's one. See, that's, that swings more loop freely. Two. There's so much dust over everything now. And three. Now they're hanging a little more freely. Okay, so then let me grab a bale. I never use these ones because they're too big, but they might actually that might actually work on this. Let me grab my other plier, and again we're gonna twist front to back. Go past a little bit. Usually you'll hear a click. Make sure it's sitting on okay. Yep, I like it. So let me get out my necklace stand so I can show you guys. Let me wipe off all the fingerprints and the dust. There it is. And I'm pretty impressed with how it's falling for my first three-part pendant. It's, it's you know, hanging kind of how I want it to. You see the red there, see the red there, see the red there. You also have some black showing, you know. So as you're wearing it, it should move and then fall into place, which actually I'm pretty impressed with how well that's falling into place. I do like the gold. Some people said the gold was a little too much for them on the first piece but it wasn't again it wasn't a gold I wanted it was more of just the tester piece I think this is totally holiday to me um, with like I said it's Thanksgiving this week but again do whatever you want I mean you could do silver you don't need that part you could just do these two parts or do a black background and then the red in front I mean do whatever you want this is just what I was going for and I posted the inspiration it was um, an ad on Facebook where they had this these plaid outfits and then they had some earrings they had one with a christmas tree cut out and stuff and they had a necklace like this and i think it was made out of like a leather material and that's where this inspiration came from it wasn't a craft it was some kind of shop like you see ads when you're scrolling through your facebook feed you see ads for different clothings and different things that's what this was and so that's my inspiration so again i'll post the inspiration photo on facebook and in the group and i will post this you'll see this very soon before the video comes out so anyways thank you for sticking with me i hope you watch this second part because the first part was not the finished piece and i'm really really happy with this i think it's gonna look beautiful wearing it so um yeah enjoy guys and i will see you next time